I've been an artist, I would say all my life. Like even when I was little, I used to um, draw. Like you can find my paintings and my little like scribbles on my grandma's fridge and everything. So as long as I can remember. For whatever reason, like art just stuck to me. Like I always was creating something, always having fun drawing something. Um, and my grandfather, he was an artist. And so I always used to hear stories. My grandma used to tell me all these stories about him. Um, drawing and she said one time uh, he drew her head on the body of a spider <laughs> so just stuff like that and so I would like draw with my grandpa sometimes and yeah I remember working more so in like colored pencil and like regular pencil and then as I got older you know just watercolor here and there but never like acrylic or anything until I got like in high school now my art I focus on um, like realism so like my art I like I'm drawing like a picture basically that I'm like looking at another picture and then I'm drawing a picture but I incorporate it with like abstract elements so I like make it my own and everything. I got involved with Mint um, senior year of high school so 2016. There was a girl in my class named Maisha Rahman and she came to art class one day and told us that she knew some like this like organization and we could be in an art fair like free of charge and you know being in art class and like I was like okay that sounded great you know being able to sell my work because I finally figured out my medium back then and so my work started actually being like okay this is kind of good so yeah that's how I found out about Mint. I realized there were no youth arts programs in Detroit there were plenty in performance or poetry, there was singing, there was theater, but there was nothing for visual arts. My first impression, I think that I was really happy. Um, I kind of had like a bad experience with art in high school um, due to some like circumstances, but uh, like being around art and artists and everything, it was, it was really cool, you know, like, cause you know, I was learning things that I never, like learn before you know they always say oh starving artist and you know just all this negativity and they don't really fund like the art classes and everything like they fund other areas of school so it was like seeing that like there was this world of art where people actually were passionate about what they did like these are real artists like not just like in their craft but like they make a living off of what they do and everything I think that was like the first thing that stood out to me I volunteered to be the interim board president like twice in a row and I was um, like you know talking with Vicky and we would have like our powwow sessions and we would go over everything and I was like leading the board meeting and in the past year like I got like really really involved with Mint like like really <laughs> involved uh, so after the like last time that I held a board meeting, I was talking to Vicky and she was like, do you want to be the vice president? I think that would be good for you. And I was like, me? Cause I'm always doubting myself. So I'm like, me, the board, like what? <laughs> and so, yeah, she asked me if that's what I wanted to do. And I was like, yeah, I mean, I'll try it. <laughs> I'm like, hopefully I can make you proud, but I'll, you know, I'll give it my best, so. <laughs> Everyone thought this makes perfect sense. We want youth voices. We want youth leadership. We want it, we want the organization that serves youth to have youth at the helm. My goal for Mint is to really help young people feel the way that I did when I first got started with Mint um, and to like have these opportunities that are kind of like life-changing because like without Mint I don't think I would be making art anymore. It's a, been a beautiful thing to see Alexis grow, to see her step up, to say yes to things. And she brings others along with her too. So there are some other youth leaders who I think, you know, are taking more active roles. Some of them as young as 16 and 17. Mint supports me so much. I, like I said earlier, I probably would not be an artist right now if it wasn't for Mint. So, you know, Vicki, she's always sending me different opportunities, um, like different, gallery openings, different calls for art and everything. And then like, even the people that I know, like now that I have done different art shows with, met them through Vicky, <laughs> you know, met them through Mint Artist Guild, being able to network, being able to like get myself out there has been through Mint. So, you know, 
it's just, and I know if I ever need anything, like, art-wise, even just life-wise, if I need anything, like, they got me, like, this, they got my back, Knit has my back, you know, and I want artists to experience what I'm experiencing, you know, like, being able to be a part of this community and being able to have the community grow because of Mint. And it's like, I just want everybody to be able to like understand and live that life.